um, yeah, it's fairly expensive, but what you're buying is the service. Basically, you get a problem, uh, you can get the help, um, and it's guaranteed to work. Uh, they sell the the lights, the controllers, the programs. Basically, a one-stop shop. What isn't a one-stop is the amount of other file, uh, other programs they have running to operate Lightarama. Um, if we can go into here, so I'll just go for a quick overlay today. This ain't going to work. Can you make that projector this screen for me? Sorry. Which so I can keep going. Make that up there. What's happened is we've got screen in screen. Oh, you want to you want to duplicate it? Yeah, I want this screen up there. That's it. Um, so starting off, we uh, the main program, the sequence editor, uh, set up as a, a matrix grid, where you got your timing across the top, <coughs> where you can see your music wave file and all the beats. Um, you know when you do it on your phone, voice to text, and you see this little spike come up and down. Well, that's where you know there's a high intensity beat or something that you can click onto. Beautiful, I think we're getting there. So, thank you for that. Now, sequence editor. Okay. So, we're going to existing. Just bring up. Okay. So, what it's got is your channels along here your time anyone see it? It's here somewhere. I can't see it for the life of me. Where's the time? The time scale. The um the music. Sorry. It's a little white ah, oh, you know what it is because I haven't got it fully opened. I can't see it. It's screen's hidden. Not big my screen's, my screen's not big enough to see it all. But what happens is you can open it up and you get that wave file in here. And this is where you're programming light on, light off. Uh, this is how I'd start off with every song. I'd put in the beat. So if we go play. Volume. You need to turn on a light. It can be a way to show appreciation. But for now, so, that's just marking the beat now, in and out. So that's when you're turning a light on and off. Um, your choice. You visualise in your head what you want to do, want your, what you want your lights to do, and you try and get that to project onto the house. So, so this is a good starting point. So there's the beat. In the effects, something I hear, like a ding, a dong, or something I want to turn on a light, I'll mark that spot there. Um, foreground, background, uh, where somebody's talking. It might be two people singing. Um, you just mark it in where they're singing. And, and that's your base starting point. From there, you build on and open up your other your controllers. So now, my, I've only got a few in here, just to make it easier, and it opens up quickly. Um, these are regular channels, like your, your dumb strings. Um, now, when you see this, these are RGB or pixels. So they're controlled by red, green, and blue. So if I put on red, where's my select tool? This one I'll do. Okay, so if I put on red, I get red up there. I put on green, I'll get green. I put on blue, I'll get blue. I put on red and green, I get yellow. All three, I get white. 
red and, pur um, red and blue, it gives me a pinky purple, and that's how you start getting your colours. Um, what do we have here? Your play feature, your selection tool uh, for toggling, so one's for on, two for off. It has a shimmer and twinkle. Um, you can turn the key on, you can turn the key off, you can uh, set, set the intensity, fade up, <coughs> fade down. So you might want to turn your lights on slowly, build up to full, full power, and then fade down. Um, a smart key, oh, if I go like this, it goes up. If I go like this, it goes down, just the way I'm dragging it. Okay. Fill key. I want to fill this whole channel, this whole line. Did it take? Uh, what we need is a spot either end. So I put this here, this here, and where's that fill key? Here, fill. Click. I've just filled that whole area. So all the, all the lights are on on that string. Had I have something there, I can just turn them on and it'll only go to where that stop point is that you've set in. Um, basically, when you're starting out, you want something that, that's easy to control. As you get more advanced, you might not find lighter armors suitable for you. There are new programs for that. You start getting into pixels. So, do I want to save? No, we'll get rid of this. Get rid of this. So that was sequence editor. Now we have superstar. Superstar is going to control all your pixels. This is all my lights on my house. You'll see in this box down here. Every single light on, on my house that I had on last year. Pixels, dumb strings, rope lights, everything. Now, what they represent is up here is these lines. And when I do this, you can see I'm turning on channels up here. So that's the top row. And when I'm turning them on down here, that should be the bottom row down here. <coughs> now, a superstar like Nutcracker raises effects gives you a grid line, timeline, as before. So you've got a time up here. So let's open a particular file. Okay, let's try another one. Uh, sub file, that should work. Okay. So I programmed this one, break, out, break down the elements for my matrix star. And you can see that represented over here when it, uh, I press play. So, a bit hard to see on this, in this lighting. A lot of that was generated using um, the instant effect. And I'd break it down and I'd say, okay, from here, left click, right click, so there, let's make an instant effect. Tools, uh, instant sequence. Okay. Now what it allows you to do here is set the timings of the songs and everything. Um, we'll have a look at the, the timing map. So what, what it's done here, it's broken down the frequencies and you can change that um, so this is volume related, frequency, we can go stereo, low to high, set, and we'll change it. Okay, so we'll close this, and we'll clear all this without saving. So I've cleared the whole, whole song. Now just for this instance, I'm going to set that part. So we've got start time from 00, end time to 430. 
There's 430. Okay, create. Oh, let's roll dice. You, computer, you make up your mind what you want to do. So you, you can cha change it all here. Um, so sequence that. Okay, so there it is there. So it's, it's sequenced it for me, a couple of clicks. Let's have a listen and a look. Do we like that? Don't, change it. Find something you like. And it's done it for me, it's saved me a fair amount of time. Now with my matrix, I can spend more time on that. Um, where I've got a, a 50 by 12 matrix where I can put up words and pictures. Now I can <coughs> spend more time on that, drawing the pictures, putting in the words, and we can do that here. Um, let's open something else. Mm, let's see. Want to say that? Get rid of that. Okay, so what do we have here? Let's have a look. We have something programmed in here. Uh, I, had, I didn't play Rolf Harris last year with um, all the goings on. So. Yeah, well, they're appealing it. I gotta play all for a bit more, get a bit more. So, what I've done here is, is I've drawn in these squares what I want. I've drawn this kangaroo physically in and had him do what I want him to do. Um, Timeline up again, up here, up the top again. That's the music field. There's something happening here. So you know to click in that field and to draw something in. Very effective. Um, just a shame I can't use it. Um, I don't know. Maybe in a couple of years. We all grew, grew up with Rolf Harris and, and they still play in Westfield Shopping Centre and, and stuff. But, you know, with, with the goings on. Shame you can't see the full screen here, but it's pretty close. So, lots of effects, like Nutcracker, uh, new effects that they generated last year. Smooth effects. People are asking me what's new. This happened last year, where we can put in um, a shockwave. Let's have a look what that does. Oh, put in, find a spot. Can't move anywhere. Okay, we'll call this one. Here, we will add a effect. Shockwave, add. Is that right? So it's there, new. Um, here we'll put a spiral. Add. Now, if I press this one, this is just a play eight seconds button. Uh, the fan, you can see in the fan settings, we can change the radius here. All right, we'll add the fan in this little part here. Add. We will play this. So, we're overlaying other effects into it um, that, that you've probably seen on the YouTube videos of Lightarama users. They, they use it to death. Um, okay, so that's, that's Superstar. Save that. Now, I did say there were a few programs to use. Um, Pixel Editor. Not a lot of people have probably seen this one. It's importing Nutcracker. Nutcracker um, have 
Lie the Rama have, have bought the um, nutcracker parts of, thereof. Hey? No, last one. Um, so these being the main let's see, okay, so there's my place, very pretty, much the same as Nutcracker, now running Lightarama. What's that going to do for Lightarama? It's going to speed up the show, it's not going to pause anymore like it used to with large files, it's going to run a lot smoother. How it exactly works, I don't know. It's only been up for a month. I've been playing with it. I've built in effects. I've had a bit of a go with it. Only uh, last week they released it, the beta programming, to allow it to play on lights. And that will expire in July. Um, and then there will be a $50 US fee to upgrade from your advanced Lightarama to the new Pixel uh, Editor program. Um, have any questions at all available here? ACL, ask us a question, fire away. I don't know, I'll find out for you.